Today is a day, it's family picture day. It has been a couple of years since I have done any of these, so I thought I'd make a video of it on how to achieve a really flawless look, complexion, and some tips and tricks if you're planning on getting photographed, if you guys are having family photos, anything like that. Just kind of tips and tricks to make you feel a little bit better and more confident. First and foremost, with my makeup. For me, I have dry skin, so I recommend going in with a hydrating primer, and that primer is going to be the Smashbox Primer Oil. I love this stuff. It is nourishing. It doesn't leave a weird film, and it just feels like it's not going to affect any kind of foundation or any products on your skin. On a day that you really wanna feel extra confident and really good with your look, I say use your most prized products. So whether it's a really nice high-end foundation or a lipstick that just makes you feel amazing, I would go for that. Go for those natural colors that you usually wear on a normal day. Right now for me, I do not have a favorite foundation. I have a couple, but I've ran out. And so I'm just going to mix my pure Born One Love Yourself. Yeah, I love this foundation but it's not my color right now. So I'm going to mix that with my True Match Lumi, which it's great and this one's too dark for me. So I figured if I mix these two, which I like both of their formulas, we should come up with a pretty good concoction. Beauty Blender. If I want the most flawless finish, I go on with a Beauty Blender. So let's go ahead. I'm going to just mix that on my hand. Let's get a couple pup pumps of that Pure Form One Love Yourself. My shade is TN1. I have a medium skin tone right now with a neutral undertone. Taking that L'Oreal, just a nice concoction, and this shade is N4 Buff Beige. Like I said, this one's too dark for me right now. And I'll just take my finger and rub that in. I mean, there's a reason why it's been a couple years since we've done family photos. It's stressful, right? Two kids, two dogs, a husband. Ooh. I love the results of family photos. I do not like the process. So I'm just gonna go in, apply that to my face. I'm using this Beauty Blender dupe. If you haven't seen my video on this $2 Beauty Blender dupe, go ahead and catch that in the description box down below. I like the Beauty Blender when applying foundation because it gives the most flawless finish. You're not going to have a lot of lines. Yes, it does take more time. Yes, it's a little bit messier, but it applies the thinnest amount of product with getting a, some really good coverage. Always keep in mind going around creases, like your forehead, nose, to go in with a light hand with product. I usually recommend going in with the remnants of what you've used on your face and just pushing that into your nose. Another tip, I usually recommend to wait to do your makeup an hour or two before for the photos, but I do understand sometimes maybe you have to work the whole day and the only time you can get it done is after work. You can always refresh your makeup, which I will do a video on that soon too, on how to refresh your makeup, whether it's for a date, family pictures, anything like that. All right, we got my base on. I got lucky today and I don't have any new breakouts, so everything looks really nice. I am going to go in with my Hourglass Concealer. This isn't my favorite, but I do like how it doesn't highlight the areas too much. I really just like to, I'm not going heavier with anything. I just like to, on these special occasions, go with as much as my normal routine as possible and just be more detailed when doing my makeup. On a day that you need your makeup to look really flawless, you don't want to do anything that's not your usual comfort zone because what if you try out the look and it's literally a few minutes before your pictures and you don't like it. I'm not a photographer and I'm not a professional makeup artist so I couldn't tell you the exact details. This is just what feels best for me. Another tip is to not wear the actual clothes that you're going to be wearing while you're doing your makeup because could get foundation on your clothes. Ooh, you just don't, you don't want to do it. Okay, now we're going to set everything. I'm going in with my Hourglass Loose Translucent Powder. I just love this because it's lightweight, doesn't look cakey, and I just take that on wherever I applied concealer under my eyes with a, this is a Real Techniques contour brush, but it's perfect for under your eyes, and I just lightly dust some of the areas, forehead, nose, and underneath my eyes where I applied concealer to prevent that from creasing. But I like this powder because it doesn't look cakey or heavy. This setting powder is such a beautiful product. So this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And 
honestly, all of their pressed powders are beautiful. So I just like to take this with a big fluffy brush. This one's a Mario Time Sephora powder brush and just stipple that over especially the areas that I know I'm going to be blending. But this just provides really light coverage. It sets down your foundation and it gives an inner luminosity that's absolutely gorgeous for photos, date night, something where you want just that healthy looking skin. What is this? I don't know what that is. Whew. I've gotten to the point where I don't even use this for special occasions only. I use this every single day because it's that good. It is pricey, but it's definitely worth the splurge. This I've already hit pan on. I'm just to the remnant. I'm not going to do a crazy eyeshadow look. To really just create a cohesive look, I recommend to go in with the bronzer and the blush that you are using for your eyes and put that in your crease. And I like to use a goat haired brush. This is the Morphe times Jaclyn Hill JH34. And then this bronzer is the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light Lighting Bronzer. These pans are humongous. They do have a smaller size that you can get. They are expensive but they are, it's just the beautiful lit from within bronze that is just going to complement any kind of photo, any kind of video, anything like that. So I just take that on that fluffy brush and put that in my crease. Let's go in with bronzer on my face. I like to use a goat hair brush as well. It just provides really even and good blending. This is the Morphe M523. This is also great for contouring and I'm going in with that same bronzer and I'm just going to be hugging this area of my cheek. If you do take it too low, you can always do some cleanup. take this underneath your jawline like this because it just creates a beautiful shadowing and makes your jaw more defined. I always like to add just a little bit more bronzer on these picture days just to create some extra definition. Let's go in with blush. I'm going to add this Patrick Ta blush and this is in the shade She Sincere in my crease. This is such a beautiful, beautiful blush. It's peachy with just a little bit of pink in it. And if you are nervous about blush or you don't like to feel too rosy, this would be a great option for you because it applies really naturally. It You can layer it as in it's buildable, but I love to put this in my crease because it just adds that extra dimension, bringing that warmth along with my bronzer. So you can't go wrong with one of these blushes. Then to add this to my face, I'm using this Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill JH04 brush, and I'm just going to stamp some of this off and pat that on the outer edges. I usually like to bring my blush right onto the apples of my cheeks, but not today because I am not going for that more round look. I'm going for more of a slimming effect which when you do that just add the blush to your side it just creates more a, def a more defined cheekbone and if I'm really feeling extra I'll put some on my temples too just to bring that all together now something that I don't do often is eyeliner but for pictures I really do want my eyes to kind of capture the look a little bit more so I'm going to go ahead and use this L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner, and this is in a brown, so it's not gonna be too abrupt. I'm not going to do a wing, I just want to define my actual eyes a little bit. There we go, we just added a little bit of dimension. We'll see, I might have to add a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and hurry and do my brows. This is the Total Temptation by Maybelline in the shade Medium Brown. I love this, it has a thicker end, so you can just make really quick work. Then you can go and make your eyebrows really PC with a brow setter like this. So I'll be right back. Brows are on. I'm going to set those with my 24 hour Benefit Brow Setting Gel. I love this because it just holds up your brows, creates the more PC look. What should I do? Highlight next. So I'm going to go in with my Hourglass palette and they have a strobe light which is right here and I think that will just add beautiful 
natural looking highlight, nothing too blinding. It has like a pink undertone, which I really like. And I like to highlight like my temples, tip of my nose, down the bridge of my nose. I've stopped being really defined for my highlight. I'm going to hop off camera really fast and do my mascara with this L'Oreal Double Extend. I love it because it doesn't smear. It's a tube-like mascara. All right, mascara is on. Whew, I feel like mascara takes forever, forever sometimes. Lips, Ooh, this is a hard one. I don't even think I have what I need down here. I'm going to set everything really quick with my Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. I like to do something a little bit more dewy and this one never lets me down. Whew, I'm sprayed. Now I'm going to go upstairs, finish my lips. I'll show you what lip product I use and then I'm also going to show you the dress and the shoes that I have. We I'm about to head out the door. Of course, we're almost running late, but this is my dress. It is so beautiful, and I'm so excited to wear it. Sorry, my exposure's a little high. There we go. And then I got these shoes. These are so these are Steve Madden shoes. They're Valentino lookalikes, only sixty dollars. And then this is a Rachel Parcel dress, which is just I love them because they're timeless and they're modest and they're beautiful. So. We'll see how the pictures go and I'll show you guys some, some more. Cause I don't know what nobody changed me now. Cause I like, cause I like to be myself.